بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم we'll start first in our course fair alarm system first the contents of the course it's as I said in the introduction it's in Arabic and English here is Arabic part left side English part or explanation our course contains introduction, types of fire alarm detector, types of fire alarm control panel, uh, types of uh, fire alarm control panels, commissioning and testing of the fire alarm system, fire alarm system management, fire alarm system design concept, review of fire alarm. Uh, system fire alarm standard sample and case study. <coughs> First, we want to know why we have to install the fire alarm system and what is the uh, design concept. So, this part provides recommendation for planning, design, and servicing of fire detection and fire alarm system in and around the building and this part also not including um, or not covering system who is uh, using in fire fighting uh, for example a sprinkler or automatic extinction uh, system it's not including the fire fighting system uh, so they may have the secondary alarm function uh, but it covers the use of signal from an automatic uh, extension element of fire alarm this means it's this part will explain to you uh, the system how to give alarm for uh, the equipment or device which will do the fire fighting sprinkler should get Alarm then to work to kill the fire or finish the fire. <coughs> First, we have to know some definitions. Uh, we'll start with um, addressable system. What does the meaning of addressable system? It's a system uh, in which signals from each detector and or call point. A uh, call point, for example, break glass or phone or call point. Uh, hybrid system are possible in which group of devices on a circuit can be separately identified but not individual device within the group. Second one, a sprighting detector. Spreading detectors. This mean these detectors take a sample of uh, the atmosphere air in the protected area or location. Uh, it take by fan or by bomb inside the detector, which may remove from protected space. Number three, automatic system. The system in which an alarm of fire can be initiated automatically. Uh, component person, this being a person component to perform a task. A detector, um, the detector is a part of an automatic fire detection system. Actually, this is the most important part which will detect the smoke or the fire or the heat or we will see later the different type of the detector. Fire detection scope. Why we are using the fire detection? We are using the fire detection to protect human lives, to protect material, to protect assets and the environment. 
from dangerous and effective fire you know if fire can destroy uh, anything so we need to protect the place where we are staying where we are working for example uh, hotels homes companies storage storage area Specifically, this means preventing danger, danger to life and dogs. Personal, this means personal protection, preventing material damage, acid protection. If we have a store and we keep material inside, so we have to protect this material. Preventing ecological damage. This means environmental protection. Fire protection scope. To ensure adequate fire safety, must contain national and the reg regulation. Each country makes its own regulation based on many uh, element, element, elements in depend on the environment. It's not. Uh, because each country defines on the other from the weather, the locations. So each country has its own regulation. And this regulation allocates the responsibility. We'll see how it, how it is. Uh, personal protection is normally governed by laws and ordinances. Acid protection is usually governed by insurance companies which publish corresponding guidelines and regulation. Such law ordinances, guidelines and standards have in all cases precedence. In case where no law or ordinances exist, the fire detection system should be planned in accordance with on fire protection practice. We'll go now to automatic fire detection system. We make it automatic to detect fire in its incipient stage, or very early stage. That's why we are using the automatic. No need manual someone to stay, and if he saw fire, then you will push the brake glass. This maybe take time. Maybe nobody will see the fire. That's why we are using the automatic fire detection system when we are using the detectors once the detectors detect there is a fire it will give alarm there for example alarming persons who are in danger calling the firefighting forces and resort the recue team activating devices for restricting smoke and fire uh, propagation for example uh, closing fire doors fire numbers and the like uh, activating activating fixing uh, extinguishing uh, system activating smoke and heat uh, venting system skip road pressurization uh, de-energized technical system uh, controlling building service uh, practical heating and ventilation system and elevators all the system connected together for example we'll talk about um, the ventilation and the elevators this system should be closed and off during a fire if there is a fire elevator should stop and go to ground floor and open the door and keep it open not move um, a ventilation system should stop so it will prevent uh, the fire from spreading uh, everywhere. 
then activation the evacuation system save like a speakers and uh, voice alarm that everyone has to uh, leave the uh, location I will start now the point number two types of the fire alarm uh, detector actually we have uh, three fire alarm detector or three types of fire alarm detectors a smoke it's depend on the types or wh what is the what the detector detecting uh, first type it's smoke smoke detectors and under this there is two types one visible smoke one invisible smoke for the visible smoke we are using uh, optical smoke for invisible smoke we are using optical smoke also I ionize the smoke sorry uh, for flame we have also two types infrared ray or ultraviolet ray for infrared ray we are using using a flickered uh, infrared ray detector for ultraviolet ray we are using flickered uh, ultraviolet ray detector and ultraviolet ultra flickered ultraviolet ray uh, detector for the heat we have same two types first one uh, rate of temperature change second type fixed temperature heat this mean if the temperature change or if we have a fixed temperature in the location for uh, rate of temperature change we are using rate of temperature change detector for fixed temperature we are using a rate of temperature change detector now we we'll start with uh, there is other type first we talk here about the type of the detector or what the detector is detecting here we will talk about the type of detectors if it's automatic or manually if it's automatic it's we have two types electronic or electromechanical if electronic we have a smoke flame and heat electromechanical we have mechanical and electrical under smoke as we say before visible and invisible flame ultraviolet and infrared uh, heat we have fixed temperature or rate of temperature change uh, we'll go to next type mechanically we have uh, a solid body melting explanation we have a uh, liquid evaporator under a solid body melting explanation we have thermal link under uh, liquid evaporator we have uh, water and sprinkler mechanical air uh, they mean the firefighting automatic they mean the fire alarm or the fire detector here automatic detection then it will give signal to the mechanical part to work same sprinkler and water and uh, similar Here is some photos for the type, different type of the fire alarm. This one, duct smoke detector, which we are fixing in uh, on the duct, AC duct, air condition duct, to detect if there is in the air condition uh, any smoke, so it will give alarm and it will stop the AC unit uh, to prevent the detector from uh, going everywhere. And where is the duct going? Uh, this type uh, ionization smoke detector this is the most popular uh, detector for smoke, uh, and this is the base of the fire alarm smoke detector or ionization smoke detector, which we will fix. Here is the, the connection of the wire will be here, and there is one part to give the address or 
a specific number for the detector so we can see in this system we'll talk uh, about ionization uh, system or ionization smoke detector and uh, this photo explain how it's work in case of clear air or uh, with a smoke here uh, blasting volt as we see how do the ionization for uh, fire detectors work the sensing part of the detector consists of two uh, chambers an open outer chamber and the semi sealed reference chamber uh, within here is this uh, open uh, open part and the inside uh, the closed part as here so we see the reference chamber. It's measure the smoke level if it's increased about more than specific value, then it will give a lot. Mounting in reference chamber is a low activity uh, radioactive foil uh, americum. Uh, 441 helping the current to flow between the two chambers between these two rooms or two chambers uh, the current will flow when the detector is powered up as the smoke enters the detector particles become attracted to the ions causing a reduction in current flow current flow in the outer chamber and and increase in the voltage measured between the two chambers. The voltage increase uh, is monitored by the electronic uh, circuit, circuit which triggers the detector into the alarm state at the present red hole lighting externally visible red lit when detector changed to alarm. If in normal in normal situation it's there is a lead on the detector if you have it it will be green but once there is alarm then it will move to a red so you can see also on the alarm itself alarm. then we'll start uh, this is picture number one uh, then we'll start picture number two in next video so Wait